the, our very own Dr. Nicole French in here, waiting for her to accept the appointment, see if she can join us. In the meantime, while we're waiting for Paul, uh, if you click in, I just sent the invite, so you should be able to get pulled in. We're connecting up. Hey, there she is. Hello, how are you? Hey, great. Thanks for, thanks for joining in. Yeah. Um, this is new for me as well. Um, I wanted to see uh, how easy it was to join yeah. you and see others' faces. Absolutely. So it's just you and me right here. So um, this is... Um, while we're waiting for, for Paul, he looks like he's having some technical difficulties coming on. So it, while I got you, um, uh -huh. uh, Nicole, tell us a little bit about what you do at Veterans Bridge Home. I know a lot of people know who you are, but um, for those who you, of you who don't, um, you know, a little bit of background. Sure. Um, I am a clinical psychologist currently serving in the Army Reserves, wow. and I have the joy and privilege of being an embedded behavioral health um, subject matter, matter expert here in Charlotte, and I love working with our military and veteran families, promoting mind health, connecting to services in our community, um, but promoting resilience and thriving in the midst of COVID. Um, yeah, for sure. So um, I think it's interesting, the story about how you you met Veterans Bridge Home, how you got to what was then Charlotte Bridge Home, what is now Veterans Bridge Home. Um, tell us a little bit about that. How did we find you? How did you find us? Well, that is a great story. Um, I had one friend in Charlotte. Um, we went to graduate school together and she ha happens to live right around the corner from Veterans Bridge Home in Elizabeth. And uh, through a mutual friend, um, uh basically like this friend is an old time friend of Tommy Norman's and he said you're a psychologist got just got out of the army you absolutely need to meet my friend Tommy Norman so he made the introduction and I had the opportunity to meet Tommy Norman and Blake Bourne several weeks later um, in the midst of my transition so I was considering a VA position um, and Tommy certainly spoke to my heart and he said, there's a lot of work to do out here in the community. Um, you know, they didn't have a job to offer at the time, but um, <laughs> they were like, hey, we're in the midst of really growing something. You know, um, we're in the midst of growing something. We're not sure exactly when um, there might be an opening, but there is work to be done in the community. So um, keep us in mind. And really, I started going to workouts just because I needed the connection, um, even though I don't love organized PT. Um, but it was really, I I, yeah, <laughs> I went to my first networking luncheon. Um, well, I mean, really probably the month month before. Um, so, I mean, it was just, I really needed community. I don't think I realized how much I missed the military and my friends. And it just was a natural kind of support system for me. So regardless of whether or not, I, I didn't know where I was going to end up. And as we all know in transition, um, you know, it's like we can be kind of broken open. Like, um, like who are we? Uh, what is our next mission? Um it's very disorienting in a new place. And so I was really grateful for just meeting really good people. And so that was a gift. So yeah. I'm grateful to be a part of the family now. I'll tell you, Tommy Norman is a smooth talker. I mean, he, he talked you out of a job and didn't even <laughs> offer you a job. That's pretty good. That's a pretty <laughs> it really good deal. Is. It <laughs> really is. Oh, my goodness. So you were just in, you just finished up your annual training. Is that correct? I did. I did. And so where were you? How did that work with um, the stay at home and, and just sort of life in, in 2020 of these days? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I was scheduled to be in San Antonio. Um, of course, DOD has suspended all travel through the end of June. We, meaning myself and three other behavioral
people are looking for housing options. Um, people are looking for some mental health support. And those would be the top three yeah. needs and um, that we have visibility on and we're trying to work with other providers to make connections on behalf of these families. Great. Well, hey, it's, it's great to see you. Um, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to drop you off the line. I'm going to pull on Paul Bill. So great to great. see you. Great. Thank you. Bye.